Hey there fellow wet shavers, Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's video we will be featuring a collaboration uh, through the wet shaving store, um, Razor Ray, I think who did the label design, um, Smiles for Miles, and Elysian Soaps. Uh, this set is available exclusively on the wet shaving stores website. I will link that in the description below. So we have that for the soap. This is four ounces of soap. And um, we have the matching splash with that. For a razor today, I will be using the uh, Rockwell 6S on the three plate. And um, I think it has a third use. Well, I don't know what actually is in here blade wise. I think it's the Wizomet blade. Yep, third, fourth use. So I'm kind of pushing it today uh, with the fourth use. I've got three days growth. The last shave was Saturday. Uh, we have my no name brush, but kind of match the color. Uh, it's a synthetic brush. And we are all lathered up in the Lancaster Razor Works bowl and ready to go. So I'm gonna wet the face here, take out my reading glasses. And get started. This is the second time I've used this soap. I used it once off camera. And uh, set notes on this soap are top notes of bergamot, white grapefruit, ginger, middle notes are jasmine, lily of the valley, and geranium. Base notes are amber, cedar, and musk. And so as you can imagine on the top it's quite citrusy. Uh, like I said, this is the second time I've used this set. First time I've used Elysian soaps. I will say that uh, the soap is a little bit on, if you're wondering about the consistency of the soap, if you haven't used Elysian, at least this soap seems to be a little bit on the firmer side. Um, there's a look at the pour, kind of taking a couple of divots out of that. Uh, not so much so that it's not uh, easily pliable in the bowl, but it did take a little bit more work for me to get my lather going, a little more elbow grease, if you will, uh, which is no big deal. Uh, I would say scent strength on this to me is a medium. I'm going to give it roughly a four and a half to five on a scale of one to 10. As far as the scent goes, uh, it's a nice scent. Um, it's definitely a lighter citrusy scent. So probably if you are a seasonal shaver, this probably would lean more towards spring and fall. I'm sorry, spring and summer. And I am personally a citrus head, or as sometimes referred to in the shaving community, a fresh boy. I will say that this, to me, Like I said, it's a nice scent. I don't know, I don't think I'm loving it. And I think to me, there's two things that kind of keep me from loving it as far as the scent goes. And it's not listed in the scent notes because it lists um, bergamot, white grapefruit and ginger. So, I don't know why, but to my nose, I get a lot of lemon in it. And I love citrus and I love citrus scents, but scents that have too much lemon in them um, just aren't my favorite citrus scents. So I feel like there's just a little too much lemon coming through for me. 
and that's probably keeping it in the, yeah, I like it. It smells nice to the, yeah, I love it. And this is never gonna leave the den kind of thing and I'm gonna reach for it often. That's just my personal opinion on the scent. Many of you may like that. There's also a, I don't know if that's the right word, there's a spiciness to it. And I don't know if that's from the ginger. It almost smells a little peppery to me. Um, and I think that is very prominent in my mind. I haven't smelled a lot of ginger <clears throat> fragrances, so it could be the ginger. Um, but anyways, I think those are the two elements that um, keep it from being a I love this scent kind of thing for me. And you may like those. And this may be a scent for you if you do. Because this is a really cool collaboration. The label art is really awesome from Razor Ray. And if you haven't checked out the wet shaving store, I'll put their link in there. Um, they're adding a lot of stuff and artisans to their store. Probably one of the, I don't know, I'd say probably the newest online shaving store. And this is a really cool collaboration. The soap itself is definitely very nice. I do like the soap. Plenty of slickness on the soap. Plenty of residual slickness. I got a lot of nice lather from it. Seems I got a decent amount of lather volume from it. So it seems to be maybe a little bit more a higher structure lather. The Wizomet blades, like I said, I just picked them up not too long ago to try. And uh, this fourth use on the blade really cut through that three days of growth really easily. No problems at all. So definitely happy with those blades. And that's, it's been my go-to blade for quite a while. I do like the Gillette seven o'clock yellows as well. But this Wizomet seems to be doing really well, at least in this Rockwell 6S on the three plate. Hope everybody is doing well. Had a nice holiday weekend. School starting here pretty soon for the kids up on the my neck of the woods. I know a lot of you that have kids may have already started in August. So it's been crazy how quickly Summer has flown by. And it's time to get back to school and basics. But football season is back upon us. I've got my, uh, looks like I nicked myself a couple of times in there. Uh, it was probably my technique, pressing a little too hard. Sometimes I get with this three plate, I just get uh, on cruise control. And sometimes I find old, still old habits of pressing a little harder come through. But anyways, I'm going to rinse the face here.
got the Lancaster Razorworks towel here. Anyways, exciting. The football is upon us. College football kicked off recently. My Oregon State Beavers won a home opener for the first time in a few years, so that was really nice to see. <clears throat> they beat Boise State. So we'll see how this season goes. There's some higher expectations here for the Beavs, uh, which there haven't been in quite a long time. All right, so this is kind of a milkier. I don't know if you can see it in there. Uh, this restrictor is very good. And I think it's an alcohol-based splash. Uh, but the splash feels really nice. Get that off my hands there. Um, still, still smelling a lot of the lemoniness coming forward. I don't know. Um, just the way it is for me, anyways, in my nose. So um, nice scent. Like I said, about a medium on the scent strength. A uh, little lemon forward for my taste. Um, a little bit of spiciness, a little too much maybe, I don't know if it's a ginger, but it almost smells to me a little peppery. Um, kind of shining through too, which kind of kicked it down a notch for me and my personal likings. But overall, um, good soap, uh, had very good quality to it, a very good lather, e easy enough to lather, uh, very slick, uh, dense and creamy. So there you have it, folks. Thank you for tuning in today, and we'll see you soon on the channel.